there's sea level and off in the distance i just had to get a photo of it behind the sign the flats bad water basin it's normally a salt flat 282 feet below sea level which is kind of fun and we just were there recently and did a video there as it's refilled from all the rains uh well it's actually refilled from the rains in august last year now we've had a bunch more rain so there's a lot of water in the salt flats of bad water basin that was once upon a time lake manly and is now refilling at least part way so really cool we'll have a link in the description if you haven't seen that video already it's pretty awesome bad water basin anyways 282 feet below sea level and we're at sea level now and we've been climbing coming up from below sea level it's like 100 feet below i just stopped for a photo and one more sea level of course and the panamint mountains behind it snow capped which is really cool so i had to see if we can get a picture of this as well Gonna wait for the Tesla to get out of the way first. <laughs>
Welcome to my world, guys. Every time I turn around anymore, there's a camera running. It serves me right, I guess. Just wow. <laughs> We're at the Ubihibi Crater <laughs> in Death Valley. Hope I'm saying that close to right. This, I, I haven't been up here before. It's well off the beaten path uh, up near Scotty's Castle, which has been closed for many years because of flood damage. This is just incredible. And if you're not familiar with this, it's a volcanic crater. And I for, I'm not going to even attempt to describe all the science behind it, but apparently you have a volcanic activity going on and then it meets water and it explodes the steam pressure explodes and so that's what you have here boom like a backwards bomb going off So we're going to hike up to a little, uh, the little crater, the little Hebe crater, I think it's called. And uh, it's about a half mile, I guess. Don't know what we'll find, but you know, we're always up for some little adventure to go check out what we can check out and discover and see and experience. And we're thinking we're going to hang around for sunset. It's uh, about three o'clock in the afternoon. The Panamint Mountains are in the west, so they're going to make sunset early here. Uh, but this is supposed to be a pretty popular sunset spot because of all the colors in the rock. Apparently they really light up when the sun is setting and low on the horizon. So that's, uh, that's the plan. It's a little surprisingly difficult to hike. It's not very, all that steep but all this volcanic rock is very loose. So it's a little like walking on beach sand, except for a bit chunkier. Uh, so it keeps slipping under you as you're trying to power up the hill. If I fall on my face, I'm sure Melanie will get it on video. This should not need to be said, but obviously it does need to be said. Use caution near the edge, footing can be dangerous. I already thought that without a sign to tell me when I saw this steep drop off and all the loose rock. Said, that looks slippery. I don't think I want to get too close to the edge.
cannot tell if that's <clears throat> dark colored dirt down there, soil of some sort, or if it's actually muddy water in the very base of this. There is some muddy water over behind us. There's definitely water. Um, I thought at first it was soil, but with all the rain we've had the last few days, I suppose it could very well have some actually water in it. That's probably why there's stuff growing down there. We are approaching mountain goat territory here, I think. We got gorgeous, gorgeous weather over here today. It was only in the 50s today in Pahrump. And over here, it's mostly blue skies and in the low 60s. So, pretty nice day for an outing here in Death Valley. Hard to beat the weather. Trick with Death Valley is, <laughs> it's only kind of a limited window where it's cool enough to be comfortable if you come over here, unless you're one of those uh, heat tourist people. Don't stay too close to the edge, honey. I'm making Melanie nervous. Yes. I'm with, apparently within like a body's length of the edge, and that's too dang close, she says. Too dang close. Actually, I think she said, don't stray too close. Melanie says, I should have brought my drink. My point is, the sun's about to drop, it'll cool down, and worst case, because it's all uphill, I can just lay down and roll. No ambulation required. I can probably get some air when I go over that little hump right there. <laughs> Maybe shave a few seconds off my return time. <laughs> if we get a thousand likes on this video, I'll come back and I'll do it. No. <laughs> Y'all can hold me to it. No. Melanie says no. Give me a thousand likes and we'll see. just keeps getting better. I thought this was like the top of a hill, but it's just a saddle. Totally cool. There you go. I can just run down there and get a drink if I'm thirsty. Sure. Yes. Great, water. I got a water filter, but I left that in the car too.
All right, so we're making our way back down. Really cool view up there. It looks like we could have taken a trail all the way around the rim of the crater, which would be incredible. Uh, but I'm out here to get sunset photos, and if I'm over there getting sunset photos, I think the photos will actually be better from this side. And I didn't bring a flashlight. And if I'm over there when the sun sets, that's a long hike back without any kind of artificial light other than my cell phone little LED thing on it. And I'd hate to end up falling into the crater and taking a roll down the hill that I didn't intend to take. Because uh, you all got to give me a thousand likes first. Meanwhile, we're going to hike back down to the car, have a little picnic lunch while we wait for the sun to finish setting. It's about a hand and a half above the mountain horizon right now. We're going to have a picnic because Melanie thinks of these things and she brought food for us on this little micro adventure. I would not have thought to do that. So um, we're going to go enjoy some nourishment while we wait for the sunlight, the sunset light to get nice. And then we'll be back out getting some pictures of this because it's supposed to light up really nice. So I'm excited to see it. really important vital tip here if you're coming up to Ubahibi Crater, which is worth coming to if you're in the area, if you're in Death Valley. They don't have restrooms up here. Not even the vault toilets that you don't really want to use anyway kind. Nothing. So apparently the nearest restrooms are back at the Grapevine Ranger Station, which is about five miles away. But that means it's like a 15 minute drive probably. I think we got enough light, we might just go do that because I've been drinking coffee all the way over here. Um, so I think we might go run to the restrooms of the ranger station, come back. We'll snack while we're doing that and then come back and be here ready for sunset uh, without being in agony. All right, that's the plan. All right, we made it back to the Prius. I think we're officially gonna run down and find uh, facilities down at the ranger station. I'll be back for sunset photos. So that's my plan. Now, like I said, Melanie's got some uh, picnic goods for us, so we're gonna dive into that and we'll be uh, ready then, all energized and prepared for the uh, evening activity with the sunlight. And I always call this the dump truck mode in the Prius because it likes to beep when you put it in reverse and it makes me think we're driving like a dump truck instead of a little hybrid. Prius, a white one, Prius Prime, Prius V. When we pulled in, we were parked next to another Toyota Highlander and then I'll turn that back around, turn it back around. Prius, Corolla Hybrid. Corolla, yeah. yeah. This is like the thing. Okay, well, here, here we go. What do we got here? Oh, that's a Buick. That don't count. <laughs> Nobody wants a Buick. <laughs> and another Toyota Sienna, this time a minivan. So it's a Toyota parking lot.
All right, we're back from taking care of an errand. Melanie said I should not have mentioned on video, but you know, it, it's a public service announcement, guys. If you're coming here, you just got to know that, okay? Meanwhile, we're getting ready for our little picnic lunch here that Melanie was nice enough to bring for us because she plans ahead like that. But look at the view out the windshield. I mean, all right, I'm not complaining about that. So we'll know exactly when the light's getting nice so we can jump out and get a picture because I think this is about the best angle I can imagine right here where we're parked in Toyota Row and the parking lot. Melanie, what do we got going for picnic here? Uh, just pepperoni and cheese. We're not really too... Just pepperoni uh, and cheese? We're not too fancy here. It's food. It's food. I think that's a great little picnic, finger food picnic. I just finished the coffee, now I got a jar of water with some lemon in it for good measure. You'll all let us know what you think in the comments. Is this a great picnic lunch thingy or is it just pepperoni and cheese? That's what I wanna know. I'm going for it's great. I know at least one of you is wondering. I have pepper going with a pepper jack. And what do you got there, Melanie? Gouda. 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 I don't even know how to say Gouda. I would have been like Gouda or something. Just like I'm probably pronouncing the mispronouncing the Ubi Hebe greater. But we we did note that it rhymes with something else fun. As we were leaving the ranger station, the Grapevine Ranger Station, we were so we gotta hurry up and get back to Ubi Hebe before we miss a sunset, because the thought of missing a sunset at Ubi Hebe gives us the heebie jeebies. We're going with it. Is that why you're hanging out here? You've come to expect goodies? And we almost forgot, we also have brought along, I'll put that right in front of Melanie's face, we brought along the almonds, so that's that's like the dessert, I guess, after the pepperoni and cheese, the just pepperoni and cheese. And we have a beggar. I mean, this bird has been sitting here putting us on a guilt trip, <laughs> eyeballing us and winking at us and begging. So why did Edgar Allan Poe write a horror poem about you ravens? Can you answer me that? Because if you tell me, maybe I'll give you a treat. Are you looking under the car for what else interesting is happening? I think you're like Yogi Bear in, the, in, the, in that old cartoon. I think you've got this figured out. All right, uh, picnic lunch is done, late lunch, late picnic lunch. The sun is just dropping behind the horizon, behind us, behind the Panamint Mountains, so as sun sets early here, it's not actually that late for something, I think. I don't know, 4.40, and the sun's going away. We're still being pestered by ravens, which is kind of amusing, we, and we're enjoying their company. And we're gonna try and get some uh, a few photos here I'm probably done talking to you outside though because the wind's picked up and it's an icy wind but it also is going to mess up our audio so I'm going to go get a few more photos and uh, we'll just see how the light pops tonight and I'm sure Melanie will be shooting some, uh, some video for you but we're probably not going to try audio while we're doing it so just so you know what's happening here. Great, we're not getting much for light. The clouds.
All right, Death Valley is a land of extremes for sure. Hottest place on earth by many accounts. Summertime temperatures can reach above 130 degrees. It's February. Like I said, it was, it was in the 60s today. Only in the 50s in front, but it's low 60s here. It was gorgeous. I mean, it was t-shirt weather. I was down to just t-shirt. As soon as that sun started dropping, the breeze picked up, and it is like ice. It is so cold outside right now. <laughs> So, Land of Extremes, the Ubihibi Crater is amazing. There's, this is the big one. There's a smaller one up over the hill and some dimples or pock marks <laughs> to size things compared to the big one. Definitely worth checking out if you are in Death Valley in the area. The Ravens are great. They keep you company. Uh, we had fun with them, too, while we were waiting for the light. We didn't get the light we would have liked tonight because some clouds built up, but it still was very, very pretty, and we're really glad we came over here. And in my humble opinion, this is far more entertaining than the Super Bowl because it is Super Bowl Sunday, and everybody else is in Las Vegas, and we just came the other direction. We fled from Las Vegas. We fled from Pahrump and came over to Death Valley. So that's how I roll. Mm -hmm. 